Hello Tool Groovies, do-it-yourselfers, welcome to the Backwoods and Mechanic channel. I just now got a service call. I had a customer call me up, said that whenever they get inside their vehicle in the morning to go make their deliveries and things, that they're having an issue. They've only got one speed setting that works on their heater. Whenever they go to turn on their heater, their air conditioner, either one, they only got that one setting. And you know how you get in there and you got low, medium, high speeds. Sometimes you'll have four speeds, three speeds, two speeds. Well, if you got one or two of those speeds working out of all of them, then you're going to have a problem. And 90% of the time on this particular model vehicle, it's going to be a resistor. So we're going to go ahead and stop and pick one up and go fix this vehicle and see if that's what the problem is. This vehicle in particular is a Chevy Express box truck. It's around the 2003-ish up to the 2008-ish model. Somewhere in that range. They're usually all made with the same general location in mind. And we're going to go pick this part up and fix it. I'm going to show you how to do it in less than five minutes. If I can remember this accurately, it's either going to be a 6 millimeter or a 7.32nd. So we're going to grab them both. We are going to be using a standard brand here, RU51, for the part number. And it is a resistor. BWD RU869. Chevy Express. These are either made into vans or box trucks. The box here show you what it looks like. Some of these, the newer model ones, look similar to a credit card. If you got the newer model Fords, they do look like a credit card basically but here's what you're looking at definitely different than the old ones the old resistors had this little coil spring on them that would kind of burn out when they got old but that's what this one here looks like and whenever you're looking at the engine you're going to want to keep in mind it's going to be right beside blower motor and your blower motor because most time your blower ain't working it's going to have to do with your blower motor or this resistor your blower motor is going to be right here you got the battery past your side you got your reservoir right here and then right here directly beside of it is where your resistor plugs in it is a 7 30 seconds on this that's most of the time what a 5.5 is referred to but 7 30 seconds works and that's all you've got is these two little fasteners right here and you pull the whole piece out Right there you go. Of course, match up the new and old parts to verify that they are the same thing. As you can tell here, this one is pretty rusty, pretty worn out. So it's more than likely what the problem is going to be. Now all you got to do is basically unplug it from this wiring harness by pushing up on this clip and then pulling down. Now after you get that unplugged, you set it off to the side. You follow these two wires right here and it should be hooked up right here. You do the same thing. You pop this and you pull that harness out. Because as you can see right there, it plugs directly into your blower motor. So, if it's not working, your blower motor is not going to work. It basically sends the signal to the blower motor to go into the speeds that you want it to go in. Plug it here, and it'll be wrapped around usually. A little clip right here. All you got to do is raise it up and over top of that clip. And then, voila, you're ready to pull it out. Then, like I said, you can easily verify it by sticking them side by side to make sure everything is the same. In this case, they both are. Now go in the reverse of what you just did taking it out. Make sure to get your wire here out of the way. And the slot it goes in. Add your two fasteners back to it. Go ahead and tighten them back up. Run your wire back up in here. Pull it back around through. Plug it up. Once it's locked into place, make sure this one's nice and clean. Ooh, and in this case, we need a new wiring harness. See? That's why you check everything before you plug it up. But, if this was good, and everything was fine with it all you got to do is plug it up and you are done then you go inside your vehicle you turn it on you turn your fan on high low medium verify that all of it works and you should be good to go now if that doesn't fix your problem then you're going to want to look into your wiring harness itself that goes through right here because you'll have to change it you can buy them cut the wires stick it right back in wire it back up it should be fine or you'll want to come over here and check your blower motor itself of course fuses relays that should always be the very first thing you check but most of the time this is the problem you're going to run into when one or two speeds work and the other ones do not now we've got the key turned over here i do feel it blowing on low i know you cannot hear it but just take a listen all four speeds now work so my customer is definitely going to be happy that he can control his speed settings on his heat in the mornings. If this helped you, then comment down below and make sure to pop the clutch on that subscribe button.